Ring announcer Ben Bentley has both men come to the center of the ring for their last minute instructions by referee Frank Gilmer. In a moment, round one. For the championship of the world. One strong right. This is Muhammad Ali. And down he goes into the rope. Frazier staggered again. The greatest. I am the king of the world. Sugar, Bill, Cuban boxer Geraldo Gonzalez in white trunks begins boxing cautiously, working behind his left jab. Both men trying to feel each other out. Bratton is considered to be a good puncher. He's been nicknamed the cat because he likes to stalk his opponents in much the same way that a cat stalks a mouse. Champion Kid Gavilan is well known to boxing fans. He's known as the Cuban Hawk, and his strong points are speed and flash. The Kid is famous for his bolo punch, a blow thrown in a similar manner to a softball pitcher's delivery. Bratton displaying a good left jab and some nimble footwork. Johnny's well liked in Chicago, where he was brought up. So far, Gavilan hasn't opened up. He's content to watch Bratton closely in this first round. The challenger in dark trunks fights out of a straight-up stance. Keep watching, and you'll see Bratton land some solid punches as he maneuvers Gavlin to the ropes. But the champion has an iron jaw. He can absorb terrific punishment and recover quickly. And that's a valuable trait in boxing. Gallen and Bratton have met twice before. On May 18, 1951, the Keed outpointed Bratton for the American and World's Welterweight title, and seven months later, they fought to a draw in 10 rounds. By now, each is familiar with the other's style. Notice that Bratton is more up on his toes than Gavilan. Johnny's more aggressive at this point, but it's early yet, and the champion seems cool and collected. You can see that Gavilan is holding back, and Bratton has gotten away to a fast start. That night at ringside, I awarded round one to Johnny Bratton. Tuesday night at the fights is... Gavilan makes his move, and the champion will apply tremendous pressure. He'll bang to the head with his educated left hook, and you'll see the key pound some solid rights to the head later on. This is Gavlin's 113th fight. He's 195, lost 13 with four draws. The Keat has 27 KOs on the record. Bratton had 82 fights, winning 59, losing 20 with three draws, and he was knocked out twice. But Gavlin's never suffered a loss by knockout. The champion stepping up the pace, landing more jabs, and it's clear now that the Keed has his stuff tonight. But Bratton is still trying to crowd in, still carrying the fight to Gavilan in an attempt to an explode a decisive punch. Now Gavilan's about to land a left hook. 
And here comes a solid right by Gavilan. And Bratton missed a series of counter blows. The kid is wasting little time now. He's aiming for the button because Bratton's weakness is in the jaw. Johnny had his jaw broken three times in his career, once by Gavilan. Gavilan's critics say he usually saves most of his fighting for the last 30 seconds of each round to catch the judge's attention. But he's not waiting tonight. The Hawk is applying steady pressure now as he moves in on Bratton. Two good jabs by the Keed. Next, he'll land a hard right, and the Hawk will press in again, forcing Bratton to retreat, retreat under a barrage of short, stiff punches. Gavilan is a proud and confident champion. There's a 100-mile TV blackout here in the Chicago area, but still over 17,000 fight fans forced Chicago Stadium officials to hang out the standing room only sign. Gavilan flurries once again, but this time Bratton counters well. The pin has shown accurate punching ability in this second round as he opened up. I gave round two to Kid Gavilan. In this frame, you'll see Gavilan maintain the aggressor's role he assumed in the second round. The kid will land solid blows, carrying plenty of zip. Notice Gavilan's pronounced crouch, combined with a bob and weave. The kid is a versatile ringman. Bratton, you notice, does plenty of bouncing. He's fast on his feet. But Gavilan is fast too, though he seems to slide or glide rather than bounce. Now watch Gavilan suddenly turn Tiger in the best slugging series so far. But Bratton is in great condition. He took Gavilan's furious punches, absorbed them well, and looks none the worse for wear. Gavilan about to fire a right that winds around Bratton's neck. The champion in white trunks is sharp and deadly tonight. Gavilan comes from Camagüey province in Cuba. The kid took his fighting name from a restaurant in Havana called El Gavilan, meaning the hawk. His real name is Gerardo Gonzalez. The hawk still pressuring Bratton, giving the challenger little time to catch his breath. The champion has found the range with his punches here in round three, and though he's landed his heavy artillery earlier in the frame, he's not trying for the kill, at least for the time being. Bratton flurries, but his punches don't land solidly on the weaving gavelin. Another short burst by the Keed. As you analyze the champion's style, you note that he wastes few punches. It's gavelin who looks like the cat playing with the mouse. See those short blows by Gavilan? He commands a wide variety of punches, and tonight his guns are highly accurate. In the final seconds of round three, Gavilan forces Bratton to the strands with solid hooks as the bell ends a fine Gavilan round.
quickly for round five. He knows he's behind in this fight, and this frame will be a better one for Johnny. Bratton still up on his toes, doing more moving in, but he's careful. He's tasted the fury of the champion's fist. In this next flurry, Bratton will counter with a good left hook, but Gavilan keeps blasting away. The Illinois Boxing Commission uses the 10-point must system of scoring. If it's a close round, score at 10 points for the winner, 9 for the loser. Not so close, 10-8, and so on. Gavilan appears to be coasting more in this round. He's not applying full pressure, as he did in rounds 2, 3, and 4. But Bratton has come back well. Now you'll see Gavilan ducking low and weaving to avoid Bratton's punches. The challenger is finding it difficult to punch downward at a moving target. Gavilan has taken to more bobbing and weaving, but Bratton scores with his left. The champion forces Bratton to the ropes with a two-fisted salvo. But there, the game challenger ties up El Gavilan after slipping most of the punches. Watch Bratton's right hand pick off two left hooks by Gabby at the end of round five. Awarded to Johnny Bratton. Bratton comes out for round six, still a little behind in the fight. Gavilan immediately goes to work with his jab. The challenger realizes he has to keep away from that Gavilan right. For well, the Hawk has been aiming for the chin early in this scheduled 15 round welterweight title bout. Gavilan Ackert with his jab, but watch this next exchange. You'll see it's Bratton landing the cleaner punches. The challenger uses the orthodox stand-up style of fighting, whereas Gavilan is a bob and weave artist. Now Bratton's about to block a series of hooks. Look at Gavilan rush Bratton into the corner or he'll miss a hard right before the challenger ties him up. Bratton seems a bit tired. You can notice his clutching and holding in the clinches.
hard right by Gavilan. And Bratton tries to fend off the champion. But the kid is pressuring again. Watch Gavilan shove Bratton to the ropes. But Johnny blocked the kid's left. Gavilan goes into a deep crouch and Bratton holds back his right as if to throw a bolo. Gavilan open up, opens up again, throwing lefts and rights as he forces Bratton to retreat at the end of round six. Another round for Gavilan. After six rounds, my scorecard showed Gavlin leading Bratton four rounds to two. In round seven, you'll see Gavlin beating Bratton to the punch and generally scoring with heavier blows. The champion in white trunks doing more moving now. Gavlin's moving to his left, but you'll notice the key changes direction, going to his right while jabbing away at Bratton's head. The Hawk employs his reverse movements in order to break his opponent's line of advance. Bratton, you notice, has lost some of the bounce he showed earlier in the fight. The challenger is more flat-footed, not up in his toes as much, and his punches carry less steam. Freddy Fierro, Bratton's trainer, has conditioned six world champions, including Billy Kahn, Fritzy Zivic, Gus Lesnovich, Joey Maxim, Steve Belois, and Mickey Walker. Gavlin opening up again with left hooks. Will drive Bratton to the ropes and land two hard rights. The Cuban Hawk is applying more pressure. You'll see him chase Bratton, pumping left hooks into the challenger. The champion is the stronger man tonight, and he's pacing himself well. Now Bratton tries a, to catch a bolo, but Gavlin misses it. Watch Gavlin faint with head and shoulders. He's a shifty boxer in there. The Keat has stepped up the pace, doing more and more crowding at close quarters. Here's Gavlin about to beat Bratton to the punch. The Keat is fast with his hands. So far tonight, Gallon isn't saving his flurries for the last 30 seconds of a round. And as round seven ends, the champion racks up another good frame. Bratton comes out of his corner bouncing again. He seems rested, and he'll try to keep off the pressing Gavilan in round eight. The challenger in black trunks has protective grease on his face. His eyes are puffy from the hard shots he's taken. But later in this round, you'll see Gavilan turn vicious and pound the fading Bratton in the best flurry of the fight. Bratton about to pan uh, pound two left jabs in there, and if you keep watching, he'll try a hard right. But it will fail to land solidly.
Two good rights to the head by Gavilan. Watch. You can see Gavilan mixing up his attack, sometimes rushing in with hooks, or biding his time, looking for openings. Bratton hard pressed to fend off the champion now. Next, you're about to see one of Gavlin's most extended barrages as he blasts Bratton with over 50 lefts and rights to the head. See if you can count them. Bratton's defenses are gone as Gavlin rips into him with hate in his fists. No question as to who won this round. After round eight, the fans wondered what kept Bratton up. He absorbed terrific punishment right up to the bell. It reminded me of the punishment Sugar Ray Robinson dealt out to Jake LaMotta and Randy Turpin. But both of those fights were stopped by the referee. Once again, Gavilan brings up those short hooks to Bratton's head, the key to staying close to the challenger. The action in round nine has slowed down considerably. The kid has punched himself out a little bit. No wonder. Bratton jabbing to the head, takes a hard right. The champion is managed by Angel Lopez and his trainer is Mendito Medina. Jaime Wallman manages Bratton, and Freddie Fiore trains the challenger. Here's Bratton coming back with shots to the head. But now Johnny starts to miss. Gavlin's experience taught him how to avoid punches by moving his head just a bit to one side. There goes Gavlin's left again. But watch, and you'll see him miss a right and a left. Bratton has a cut over his right eye now. Here's something to look for. See how Gavilan moves to the side, making Bratton miss left jabs? The champion is adept at weaving tactics. Bratton's about to block a left hook, watch. And he'll block another. 
In the final seconds of round nine, chalk up another for Gavilan. But Bratton made it closer that time. Up till now, Bratton has won the first and fifth rounds. Gavilan took the second, third, fourth, sixth, seventh, eighth, and ninth. But in round 10, Bratton will make a bit better defensive showing. The more you watch Gavilan, the more you notice his confidence. He's beaten Bratton before, and tonight he's on his way to another victory. It must be discouraging to fight Gavilan. He'll take your best punches on his jaw of granite and come back with his own salvos. See how Gavilan moves away from Bratton? Next, he'll change the pattern and move in on Johnny. Bratton holds his gloves quite low. He depends on speed of hand to pick off his opponent's punches. Tonight, the pickings aren't so good. Gavlin's back in his defensive shell again. The champion is well protected. Now watch his next move. He flashed in with his left hook. Bratton set to fire a right-left combination. The challenger making a better defensive showing here in round 10. Although it's been a rather slow round, Bratton apparently has regained some of his first round polish. Gavlin giving Johnny little to shoot at though. Gavlin fires a left hook. He'll try another left and right at the end of round 10. To the 1% of you who ask more from a truck. All gavel and round as the champion continues to lay down a bombardment. There's that workhorse left hand. The kid's staying close, using short left uppercuts with plenty of power. Now Gavlin's using both hands. A left hook staggers Bratton, sending him reeling to the ropes. And look at Gavlin tear after him. Those are vicious uppercuts. Gavlin's throwing uppercuts and hooks, and Bratton's eyes are puffing. The game challenger is bleeding from a slice near the right eye. He's tired, trailing, and his defenses are crumbling. Gavlin's vicious. He's a real fighting machine. You can see Bratton's head snap back as he catches those uppercuts. Now watch, Bratton will fight back. Where he gets the strength from, nobody knows. But the challenger has a fighting heart that won't let him quit.
Bratton's eye is bleeding freely now. Watch Gavlin land a left hook, followed by a hard right that rocks Bratton, sending him to the ropes. And another left. Now Gavlin really cuts loose. But Bratton won't go down. He has a heart as big as Chicago Stadium. The bell is only seconds away, and Bratton will last the round. Here in round 13, Gavlin will press harder, trying for the knockout. He almost scored in several of the previous rounds. The champion himself must be wondering what has been keeping Johnny Bratton from hitting the deck. The game challenger has lumps and cuts over both eyes and is a tired man indeed. Bratton about to land three jabs to the head, but those are purely defensive measures now. Gavlin's been extremely accurate tonight, and he's thrown every conceivable type of punch. The champion still looking for an opening. He sees the opening, and here it comes. taking a terrible beating, but Gavlin cannot put him down. The kid's throwing everything but the ring post. The fight could have been stopped right here with no protest from the crowd. Before the 13th round began, Jaime Wallman, Bratton's manager, pleaded with him, trying to stop the massacre but Johnny refused. Bratton's right eye is bleeding once more, and Gavlin moves in again. The Keed's been steadily increasing the pressure, and Bratton's defenses have all but crumpled under the champion's firepower. Gavlin, pounding Bratton's bloody face, won't let him out of the corner. And as the bell sounds, Gavlin has to show Bratton which way to go. The challenger is bewitched, bothered, and bewildered. Tommy Wallman, Bratton's manager, giving him final instructions. They're pretty futile now. Bratton's face is now a grotesque mask. He's far behind. We've only given him three rounds till now, and his only chance to win is by a knockout. Gavlin, working behind his left jab. Keep watching, and you'll see him throw a hard right. Oh. 
The champion has been effective with either hand tonight. The challenger using every opportunity to hold on at close range. See Bratton go into a deep crouch? That's one of the rare occasions when he's done that. He's tired of being belted. Notice that Gavilan always remains well protected. The Keed maintains a tough defensive shell, despite the fact he now realizes Bratton cannot hurt him. El Gavilan, the Cuban goodwill ambassador of boxing, isn't too popular with Bratton at the moment. However, Gavilan is a reliable crowd pleaser wherever he fights. champion is bouncing punches off Bratton's jaw. Johnny is living on nerve and instinct. The end of round 14. Another frame awarded to the welterweight champion. Round 15, final round. Here's Gavlin's corner. And now we see Jaime Wallman and Freddie Fiore in the challenger's corner. Bratton receiving his final instructions. <laughs> Referee Gilmer has them touch gloves. Bratton is having difficulty seeing. He has lumps above both eyes and his face is completely swollen from the terrific pounding. Bratton simply wants to last the remaining minutes of the fight. He's holding on, but finding it difficult to tie up the champion. Now Johnny pushes his tormentor away. He wishes Gavi was miles away. Gavlin about to land a blazing right, and the game Bratton tries to remain on his feet. The champion. Pairs in. What's keeping Bratton on his feet? Gavilan is irked at not being able to down his man, for the champion has much pride. But Bratton has a stout heart. Bratton unable to get a moment's breather. Gavilan's forcing and crowding. Keep watching and you'll see another example of the raging fighting machine called Kid Gavilan. The feed's using his bolo punch too. hurt and has lost all ability to fight back.
The key goes into his bounce tactics as he rushes in again. But only seconds remain, and Bratton will weather the storm. It's all over. Gavlin congratulates Bratton, still wondering how Johnny was able to go the distance. This was one of the most one-sided championship bouts in years. Gavlin pounded the hapless Bratton from the second round on, and the champion never lost command. It was a game of pitch and catch, with Gavlin doing the pitching. And for his efforts, his followers presented him with a Cuban flag, a sign of their admiration. Angel Lopez on the right, and Mandito Medina, Gavlin's manager and trainer, draped the flag across the champion's shoulders. Ring announcer Ben Bentley calls the verdict, and nobody is surprised. Kid Gavlin successfully defends his welterweight title in one of his greatest performances, even though he was never able to floor his man. Kid Gavlin had won his...